Hello, welcome to Nicolette. My name is Nicole and today I wanted to give an update on my hair journey as well as tell my big chop story. So before I begin I wanted to just share a little bit of what my hair was like my entire life or at least since elementary school. So about fifth grade was when I got my first hair relaxer. Um, it was done in a salon and after that my mom had been touching it up all the way into my 20s like my hair had always been relaxed always been really straight and I had no clue what my natural hair was like because I didn't really remember what it was like before I had it relaxed what led me to grow out my hair naturally um, was after I graduated college I moved across the US so I moved from Arizona all the way to Pennsylvania and when I was out here, I had a dilemma. I had to find someone who could relax my hair for me because I had only done it once before and it didn't turn out right. I missed spots. So I had to find some salon or somebody who can straighten and relax my hair because I can't live without a relaxer. My hair was always straight. That's all I ever knew. So after doing research and finding salons that offered to relax hair I didn't realize how expensive it was to get it done I mean I'd always been getting it done by my mom and it was basically free or just whatever I paid for in the store usually I wouldn't say more than 10 bucks to get my hair relaxed but when I was looking at salons it was like 50 and I was not trying to spend that every time when I hadn't even <laughs> been spending that much my whole life on getting my hair relaxed. So one day someone close to me said, hey, why don't you just grow your hair out natural? And I was like, well, you don't understand. My hair is very, very curly. Like I need to have it tamed or it's just gonna be tangly and wild all the time. This person just pushed and said, there's a lot of girls out there going natural and it's gorgeous. So I was like, okay, let me do some research and see how terrible it is because I'm really not down for paying to have my hair relaxed by a salon all the time. I went on Instagram, I went on YouTube, I went on Pinterest, and I found that there is this huge community out there of girls going natural. I was like, oh my gosh, no way. I thought everyone relaxed their hair just because it was just easier and you know when you have curly hair you want straight hair like I just thought everyone with hair like mine was relaxed but there's an entire community out there of girls going natural and they look so gorgeous when I see before and after shots one time relaxed hair and then they grow out their natural hair the natural hair always looks so much prettier and I'm just like yes look at these gorgeous African queens like I want to be an African queen. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna just gonna Grow my hair out natural and I'm gonna have this gorgeous curly hair. So now comes my big chop story I went to a salon and We were gonna kind of do a transition like let my hair grow out cut it a little shorter Grow out some more cut it a little shorter. My hair was down. I would say say down to here on my chest right relaxed down to here um, and then the salon cut it up to my shoulders so I still had the natural growing out still had the relaxed down to my shoulders um, but I grew impatient and I started seeing girls big chop videos on YouTube and I was like oh my gosh like I just I can't I'm not patient I need to cut it off me and the person who convinced me to grow my hair out natural we cut it on our own um, so she did the whole back and we cut the top short but we kind of still left some of the relaxer on so it, I kind of had this little edgy look with my hair a little longer on top. I think I was a little scared to go all the way and cut it all the way off. So for about a week I wore it like that and I just kept seeing all these big chop videos and I was like, no, I need to not chicken out and go all the way. So I decided to just cut off the top part myself. And so my whole head, completely free of relaxer, 
and boy was it much shorter than I thought it was going to be. I thought I had about an inch of growth already. Well, no, it was more like a half inch. My hair was really, really short. At first, there was a mixed feelings about it. I was like, okay, I kind of look like a boy, but then I was like, eh, it's kind of a cute pixie look. But you know, I think it was just because I wasn't used to seeing myself with no hair because even with relaxed hair, even you know, in my baby pictures, my hair was always long. So I just don't think I was used to having hair that short. After a while, it definitely grew on me. Um, I, I started liking the look. Um, I started liking do, doing new things with it. I looked up a lot, again, I was very reliant on YouTube, looked up more YouTube videos of girls styling it and it just became easier and easier as things go along. First of all, let me just say that this is almost two years of growth. I'd say it's a year and ten months now since I cut it off. I cut it off in April of 2018. It is now February of 2020. So almost two years. Um, and it's, it's quite long. I mean, it, it covers my ears. I mean, this is me right out of the shower and it's shrunken up. All I have is some basic leave-in conditioner. Like it's shrunk up. So it covers my ears without having to stretch it or anything. And I can go ahead and show you that almost two years of growth is down to here. So that's, that's pretty long. I would say. So my honest opinion on natural hair, um, it's not what I thought it would be. I thought it would be a terror to take care of. Mad tangled, look like a hot mess, like a, like a rug on top of my head, but no, it is, it's gorgeous. It doesn't get super tangled. I only comb it in the shower, so it's easiest that way. It's very pretty. Um, and it's much easier to deal with than relaxed hair, believe it or not. Relaxed hair has to be styled every day. It's, I mean, it's straight, but it still needs to be styled and it still needs to be flat ironed, blow dried, something needs to be done with it. You can't just get out of the shower and wear it as like a fro or just put something in it to define the curls or, you know, if you just wanted to get out of the house quick, I find that this hair, in its natural state actually it's not that bad so i definitely love my natural hair 100 percent um the only thing i'm having a hard time with is determining whether my hair is 3c or 4a type hair i can't tell like it seems like some spots are really tight some spots are looser so yeah i would say i love my hair 10 times better than it was when it was relaxed. It's unique, it's gorgeous, and all these African queens on the internet are gorgeous, and now I could finally join them. I love it. So I'm gonna try and be a little better about this. Instead of posting one video a year, I'm gonna make an attempt, it's 2020, I'm gonna make an attempt, I'm gonna definitely stick with this channel and see if I can keep posting updates on my hair. So that's everything I have for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.